Happy Sunday, everybody. So what I'm going to do is a two-tier video. One is a little video. Can't stop buying guitars. This is it. ESP reverse headstock M1000. So uh, probably going to get sent out to be painted. Um, I actually like these better than uh, some of the other ESPs. <laughs> The um, uh, it's good. AMG 8185. Jack's a little loose or tight. One of them. We'll have to fix that. But the uh, back is really nice. One piece. Uh, AMG again. 8185. But these necks on here are, are phenomenal. Other uh, nice guitar. <laughs> That's my review. I get this at Sam Ash. They got a sale or something going on. Uh, 15, 20% off coupon. So I ended up getting this for, this was like on, uh, they had it for like $8.99. These were like around 13 to 1600 new. They had it marked at like $8.99 or $7.99, something like that. And then they dropped it to $5.99. And then yesterday I used the coupon and I got $100 off. So it was $4.99 plus tax it came out to 509 or something like that so great deal phenomenal next um great sound um i'm not a huge fan of emgs but when they're juiced they sound good for <laughs> What I'm gonna also do in this video is we're gonna go back to some of the basics. So what I'm gonna show you is the G major scale starting from first position again for my buddy Patrick, who's a drummer. He's my old drummer, he lives in Ocala now. So we start on the G, second figure. arpeggio of that is a B minor inside um, um, the G position. It goes here. So it's two and five on the fifth string. Then it goes to the four string and that's on the four. Four on the four. And then and then three, uh, two on the third string. And then I, and then I like to go to the fourth on the third, and then third on the second, and then two and five on the second. And way to practice so the next position starts on the G again boom. it's the actual real first position so that's one, uh, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, and then it repeats the three five seven and that has a C major So that starts on the fifth string again off the C note. Seven. Five on the four. 
then it goes to four on the third. And then a half, uh, half step up on the third, which is five. And then you're gonna roll your finger down to five on the second, and then re it's a, the widespread three and seven. I'm only going to give you three positions this time. So the next one is off the A note. Now this is still G major scale, starting on the A. You no, know it is not a mode. They call it modes, but it is not. Just because you start on a different note in the same key, it's not, it's not really a mode. You're just in the key, same key. So it's uh, five, seven, eight, then five, seven, nine. Five seven nine, and then uh, five seven nine, then uh, five seven eight, five seven eight. And the next uh, arpeggio is a D major seven, so that's gonna look like this. So, start five, nine on the fifth string. Then it's going to go to the seventh fret on the fourth. And then you're going to go to the fifth fret on the third. And then um, that's going to move up to seven on the third. And then you're going to roll it down to seven on the second. And then five and eight on the first. We'll, do, we'll stop right there. Because he asked me, to, he said, why didn't you do any do more theory? I'm like, I got 200 videos, probably 100 of them are theory, but we're gonna rehash this. So a lot of people don't know if you go on my channel, everything's by date. So you go farther back, you'll see the G major scale with the arpeggios are in there, but we're gonna rehash this for people. Now, the thing is that you wanna practice because scales are born. <laughs> Let me remind you, if you're a beginner, it's not as hard as you think. There's only seven notes and one key all over the neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight being the octave. So then it starts all over again. Those same seven notes are all over the neck. You just have to know where they are, and I do it by memorizing the pattern. So when you see me shredding and playing licks, I'm counting. I don't count as much anymore. So like, there's a lot of patterns inside these scales. You have seconds. <laughs> to the next note, one, two, three. Or you can play threes in a row. Four, one, two, three, four. You go back to the next note, one, two, three, four. So you can do threes that way too. All kinds of patterns and same thing backwards. Hence Joe Bonamassa does fours, but he does them pentatonically. Right here. Gives it a different sound because it has more separation. 
So those are the tricks to soloing. Now this is the beginning of rehashing again, so that you guys, if you wanna know what I do and how it works for me, and it's a lot of time in practice. Like I said in the past, if a six pack of abs was easy, everybody would have one. That's why you admire the man who's put the work in the physical um, sacrifices into dieting and training right to get that six pack. Because if it was easy, everybody would have one and there would be nothing to admire. So there's a lot of hard work in playing and practicing. That's what gets you the admiration from others by the amount of time and how you practice put into it. You know, so um, there's a lot of patterns in there and we'll go over the, the, some more positions in another video. So this is like a twofold. So this is the new ESP 1000. I might have my Rob Ferran or maybe even Mark Funk is gonna paint it for me. I don't know what to paint it. This kind of looks cool, but I wish it was still all white with this on there. So we'll see. I don't know. Peace.